Hello. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Today it's a fighter. As always, it's my channel. There's always lots of fighters on it. But it's a game I've never ever played before, and I believe it first came out on the Sega Saturn. Yes, of course, I'm talking about Fighting Vipers. Now I've have read online so many good things. I know well, I know a lot of Sega collectors, and they really rave about Fighting Vipers. Now I don't know the first thing about it, apart from I mean I've had a little dabble kind of before setting up this video. Um, it does seem to me to be like I don't know, like a like a weird version of Virtua Fighter, but I think I'm gonna give it a more concerted go so I can actually get a feel for it. Like I said, I've got very high expectations of this because I've heard so many good things about it and I'm quite excited to try it out. So tonight, for your viewing enjoyment, please sit back, relax and enjoy. This is Fighting Vipers, originally on the Sega Saturn, but I'm playing it on Xbox Live Arcade. So, this is Fighting Vipers. Now, as someone who never had a Sega Saturn myself, I kind of missed out on this, but thanks to Xbox Live Arcade, I have the opportunity to have a go at this. Grace, Barn, Raxel, Tokyo, Sandman, Jane, Candy, and Picky. Well, the one that catch my eye straight away is Barn, because he looks a lot like Jotaro Kujo. <laughs> so, of course, uh, speciality big stroke. Okay. Barn. Right, I probably should have looked up what the buttons were. Right, so so that's because that's punch kick and that's guard. Okay, that's your typical sort of first round, I guess. Oh, look on the ground. Okay, he's. <laughs> Well, obviously, this big Sega who also did Virtua Fighter. That move is proper Akira. Isn't it? Oh, I just have not got the hang of this. Oh dear, that was pretty shit. <laughs> that first round was just a gimme. Right, let's try not to be shit this time. Get on the ground! Oh! Oh, hello! <laughs> uh, see you later, mate! <laughs> Let's just adjust this screen, because this has gone a bit silly. Hang on, love, hang on. Let me. Get on the ground! Oh, hang on, she's on she's on roller skates. Okay, and this is another jumping on the moon kind of game. Fucking hell. She's dead. She's fucking dead. Can I do a fucking game on a fighting video? Oh, sorry, a video on a fighting game where I don't get beat by someone who's got zero health, please. Because it's getting quite irritating. Frickin' heck, all up. Hang on. I just shattered her armour. Okay, that's a cool, that's a cool feature. But she still beat me. That's two rounds now. She's got no fucking health, and I get and I lose. For fuck's sake! Oh fucking hell! I know this is an early kind of 3D fighter, but don't take the piss, game. Round two. 
Well, that's all three fucking rounds I've had against Grace where she's had zero health, but I've only won one of them. Ooh. Oh, fuck's sake. Come on, Jotaro. What? So I just went for that big ass punch. Ooh. Do they take more damage then when they've got no armor? She's got no health again. Oh wait, no, that is a KO this time. Fucking hell. Picky, who's a Scott was a skateboarder. I just assumed he was a fucking ice hockey player. Right. Okay. It is 100% about picking your frickin' moment, isn't it? I will say, this is not frickin' easy. Fuck's sake. It has to be said, first impressions, it's alright, but I, I think I prefer Virtua Fighter still. There's quite cool things that whereby you can like break their armor and stuff like that and knock them through the wall that's pretty cool what isn't cool is the amount of times they've got no fucking health and they carry on fighting tokyo i wonder if she has a hotel oh got an achievement oh my god she's dressed like one of the centurions power extreme How'd you throw then? Okay, that was a cool fucking get up attack. Get on the ground! It's just like Tekken, they always know when your attack's gonna, uh, your mid attack's gonna land, and they always duck it. Always, in the nick of time. As a human player, it's really difficult to do. But no, I'll take that. Well done, not Jojo. Sandman, not Sandman. Okay. So what's he meant to be? I can't work it out. What's it? It's just a cosplaying as a robot? What's this do? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, Namco gonna sue someone. That's freaking Jack. Rattlesnake burger. What all that's like. So when they're so when they're flashing, is it means their arm is vulnerable? Oh fuck it, L. Fucking input reading, fucking twat. Yeah. Nope. Oh shit. Not doing well here. Oh. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, now we've got Candy. Oh okay, she's uh... Is she a robot? No. No, she's just... Fuck's sake. Look for a fight. I like the way I went for a punch and she just got up and go, I'll take your punch and turn it into a throw. Ooh. Yeah, she's just ignoring a lot of my attacks now. Fuck's sake, it's like fighting Lily in Tekken, where she just ignores your attacks and there's some wimpy little move that somehow just launches you. 
like that. She just hits you with her ass. Oh, fuck's sake. I don't get it. Why why is she just tanking my moves? It's like she's completely ignoring everything I'm doing. There you go. I like that. That's a bit like Asuka's um, upwards elbow. Oh, fuck off. I also noticed they, they tend to attack before the round started quite often. That... <laughs> I don't know if that's just a... Uh, oh, fucking hell. I don't know how she just tanks your attacks. Oh, that was freaking awesome. Oh, that wasn't even a finish. Okay, she's in her bra now. Get on the ground. Oh my god, I like massively just disrobed her there. That's literally called knocking your socks off. Raxel. Oh, he's a rock star. It's like Sebastian Bach. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, fucking anti-air jab. Right, okay. All right, it's one of the, uh, one of those games, is it? That was fucking bullshit. Oh, come on, I nail, I hit that. <sighs> Problem is, not knowing the moves is always an absolute uh, disadvantage, especially when they just do some mincy, spinny round move that does an extortionate amount of damage. Oh, fuck's sake. Seriously, I, I swear, they start before the fucking match because it says go. It's like, by the time it says go, you've already taken a two-hit combo. And I need to... I, I don't... What is this, this tanking system? Jesus Christ, this guy's impossible. Two, See, look, he attacked before it said round two! Oh, fuck off. Oh my god. Fucking hell, I just got launched through a fucking window. I thought it called me a bad loser. No, it's barn losers. Look, it's when he flashes and he's invincible. I appreciate he got the kind of power through moves in um, Tekken. But this is bullshit. What is that? Fuck me. <laughs> oh. Seriously. The point where it says go is already fucking hit ya. It's it's ridiculous. I can't even take a round off this prick. He wasn't anywhere to fucking nip. Right, he's dead. He's fucking dead. Finally. Finally beat the cheating little prick. Yeah, enjoy enjoy, enjoy the trip, wanker. <laughs> he probably wasn't even the final boss. Oh, we've got Jane. We've still got Jane. Jane is... G.I. Jane. I thought she's a... Vasquez from fucking Aliens. Uh... Okay. I don't... <laughs> That, see, that flashing move is obviously is like some obviously power move. I don't like the way they can just grab you through it. And, it, and that prioritises over. Because like I'm telling you now, when I've gone to go for a grab, I get absolutely launched. Okay, this is not... But seriously, that, that flashing hit move is... I'm guessing 
back in these days, the idea was it was supposed to be like the power through moves in Tekken. But it doesn't work. And I don't like the way they... they look, like I said, they, they completely ignore your attacks and just do what they want to do. It's... The hit range of the CPU is insane. The priority hits, the fucking ability to pull a grab off when you're in the air. I don't even know what happened there. I'm going to watch this replay again. So I went flying off there and it just launched me the opposite side of the screen because... And their ability to... I said to... Uh, Just tank your attacks, but you do one of those flashy attacks and it does fuck all. Oh my god, I've actually finally fucking beaten her. There we go, that's one to save her. Oh, this must be the fight. Is this the final match? Is this Why is he dressed as a cobra? BM. Uh, I'm starting to think BM stands for bullshit man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Double perfect. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Hey, it's not going to be a perfect. I'm awarding myself an achievement for actually taking some damage off. Fucking hell. Oh. What is this? The fuck is this game? <sighs> you see what I mean? You do your sort of flashy move. and They just grab you through it. I went for a grab there, but his grab prioritised. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. Christ. It's like it doesn't even give you a modicum of a chance. It's just, What the hell? <laughs> With the 700 hit combo, which you can do nothing about. I'm blocking the entire time. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back off and block and see what happens. Then go for a grab. Nope. Because... Nope. He's just gone for a grab. It's like it instantly knows... As soon as, as soon as I hit the guard button, it will go for a grab. Look, I'm gonna press guard now. Oh no! It's actually gone for a. Co <laughs> oh my god! Look, like I grabbed him there and then went, no, 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 I grabbed you first. And I don't think you did. This is like having an argument with VAR. Oh, fucking hell. Right, I'm going to give this one last go because I am starting to lose my fucking temper with this now because this is... I got perfected again. Have you ever come across a final boss who just consistently perfects you. Because I haven't before. Because normally, if you're that crap at a game, you wouldn't get as far as the bot. I don't know how he meant to do air cancel then, but okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know what? No. No, I'm done. I'm done. I've, I've seen enough of this game to make up my mind. I don't like this game. But it's, it's complete arse. <laughs> I've been stuck on this bloody girl. So yes, I've, I've tried it again with another character. Because I thought... Maybe, maybe my opinion was a bit harsh, and I need like 
done it with a handful of characters and I thought, well, you know, I was seen the main girls, I didn't actually play as a female character because I seem to be better suited to them. But I've just come unstuck with fucking Little Miss Smack You With Your Ass here because she just seems to just, again, that attack just seems to override frickin' every, every fucking move that I do. I thought... Tell me this isn't input reading, please. Please, tell me this isn't input reading, because this looks a lot like input reading to me. <laughs> you see what I mean? I'm going to go high now. Yep, I'm going to go low. I'm gonna, still going low. Still low. Still low. Oh, finally, got through. Right, that's like the eighth attempt I have to try and beat her. And then I get stuck on the. Oh, I'm gonna get stuck on this guy, aren't I? Because he's just Let the action begin. ridiculous, isn't he? Oh. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna go out and say it. This game is worse for input reading than frickin' and, and, and King of Fighters is. We all know what SNK games are like for for input reading. This is shocking. It's like... It's like it's almost like a psychic that knows exactly what you're going to do. It just seems to block what can only be described as about 85% of your attacks, which is bollocks. And then just counters you all the time. The countering in this game is appalling. Well, it's good if you're the fucking computer though, but it's just sort of, that's just it. A computer can process what's happening a lot more than I can. Yeah, yeah, no, no. You know what? I'm I'm literally done with this game. I've spent way too long on it now to actually find myself uh, amused by it anymore. So with that, I'm going to call this a video right here and say if you have come this far thank you very much for choosing to spend your time with me if you like this video please drop a little like perhaps subscribe to the channel if you're new so that's fighting vipers which was out on the dreamcast i think it came out on the ps2 but i mean i think i think it came not the dreamcast the sega saturn this came out on the sega saturn first and uh like i said i don't know if people have got their rose tinted glasses on because you know there's a lot of die hard fans of the sega saturn but Compare this to Virtua Fighter 2, or Virtua Fighter, even the first Virtua Fighter. This is nowhere near as good as the first Virtua Fighter at all, and I'll explain why. And this is just my opinion of this, so I do apologise if you are a fan of this game. This is just my overall opinion from, you know, I've, I've given this, you know, quite, quite a fair crack. You know, I've done this with quite a few characters off camera, and, you know, when I come to make the video, yeah, I got to Final Boss. I've never got to Final Boss before since trying this game out, but... There's a couple of things which I find wrong. I mean, the flashing moves, which is basically the equivalent of your, your sort of your push through move in Tekken, is very, very biased towards the CPU character. What I mean by that is, if you hit it at the same time, theirs will always count as the actual priority hit. And nine times out of ten, you'll be hit and hitting them, and they're taking damage, and they'll just break through and just do it. But no, the whole point is. When you're hitting someone, they're being comboed. You can't just turn around and go, actually, no, I've, I've done my move. So there was that. The the hit detection is really out. As you saw with that Raxel fight just at the end there, he was doing his little flip kick. And I, fucking, I wasn't that close to him, but it counts as a hit. But the amount of times, like when I had Grace there, you go for a kick, and it goes straight through him, and it just ignores it completely. And I'm like, it's lots of these little things are all tailored to the... CPU character. The fact that they know what you're going to do, the input reading is off the charts, and I'm including that with SNK fighters here. The input reading of this is unbelievable, that the computer knows exactly what you're going to do, and counters it straight away. There's That's not... I appreciate things being a challenge, but if something is literally always two steps ahead of you, it's not fun. And that's kind of my opinion of it, and Look, I appreciate lots of things I've read. Fighting Vipers is a very, very popular game by a lot of diehard Sega Saturn fans, and I just think I don't know if that's nostalgia glasses because experiencing it here, it's not as good as Virtual Fighter, and that's the best comparison I can do. Is because it's a Sega game, it's on the same, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be compared to Virtual Fighter. And Virtual Fighter is a much 
superior game to this. This is almost like it's the this is like Virtual Fighter's weird brother. It's wackier. The character designs are very colourful. It's a bit over the top, and I can see why it's 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 not as serious as Virtual Fighter is, but the mechanics of it are not as good. Virtual Fighter feels very fluid. This feels a bit of a mess and that's just my personal opinion uh, and I must say I didn't enjoy it sorry if this is one of your favorite games but this isn't as good as people make it out to be so you know what I'm gonna leave this here with, with with my opinion here I mean if you disagree with me please pop it down in the comments you know I'd love to have a chat about it but that is just my honest opinion of this game but I'm gonna leave this here so thanks again for watching stay safe and I'll see you next time take care bye bye